So I went to a couple of different public lectures, but the one I'm going to focus on is Glenn Burns, who's actually the last one that I went to, and I thought that his presentation was very interesting because it involved a lot of um, talk about space and space exploration and stuff like that, and that really interests me. So he talked. To, he started off by introducing a story of how he learned that he loved telescopes when he was in first grade by observing Jupiter through a telescope and seeing four things orbiting it and found, finding out that Galileo was the one who discovered that and how amazing that was for him to discover that with his dad. Um, uh, so then he moved on to talk about how he loves Star Trek and how influential Star Trek really was in the world and the nation during the time that it was introduced. Um, John F. Kennedy gave a speech. He was telling us about that um, claim they would reach the surface of the moon by the end of the decade. And to Glenn Burns, it seemed like a really long time, but it came before they know it. And he can remember seeing the first man, uh, man walk on the moon and missing the first words because his family was cheering so loud. So I thought that was a really cool story. Um, so then he talked about Cardinal Warden and the Hubble Space Telescope, and he explained how the Hubble t uh, Space Telescope allowed them to identify that there are 400 billion stars in the Milky Way, and we're only one of several billion galaxies in the known universe. So I thought that was super interesting, because little do you think about how small humans actually are, and how little we are in the universe, and in the galaxies, and the, the multiple galaxies, so I thought that was very interesting to kind of get some perspective um, from that point, Glenn Burns moved to Minnesota, and he worked on the BLA telescope in New Mexico. He went and did some research with his professor, um, and he studied radio astronomy and uh, studied QSARs, so that was cool. And then um, he then talked about how he was able to go and cover the last landing of the space shuttle returning to Earth from space, and how... It was so moving because everyone in NASA was crying because there's no more time, there's no more planned time to go back into space, um, and how impactful that was for him because they wanted to learn so much more, but they didn't have anything else planned for space. Um, so that was very impactful. Um, then he talked about the Tabby Star, which was something he found a lot of interest in because there's something orbiting it that was different from anything else that's in scientists have no idea what it is. Um, so he thinks that that's a very interesting idea and could lead to d discovering different signs of life. Um, and he then talked about the new James Webb Telescope that he said was launched in 2018, I believe, and um, how that would be able to possibly look back a few hundreds of thousands of years after the Big Bang, which would be very impactful. Um, and so although he was sad, and so was NASA, that there weren't any more times for man to go back into the space that were planned, he talked about how telescopes are very impactful and useful and will help us find life outside of Earth and allow us to explore space in our future um, better than we ever have before in our past so that we still have all that great excitement left before us. Um, so I thought this public lecture was a very, very moving and inspiring and put it, it put the Earth in perspective a little bit for me. Um, it related well to what we had talked about in class. So we have talked about comets and Earth rotating the sun and force of gravity and torque and momentum and angular momentum and a lot of situations that dealt with um, objects moving around one another in space. And so getting to know more about telescopes and the history of space exploration and how we know that comets and planets orbit in this way, um, getting to know more about that and the history of that through this lecture definitely in, uh, opened up my mind and let me learn a lot of new things that dealt with the topics that we discussed in physics class this year.